I think the tech industry has been evolving very rapidly with new tools, languages, uh, and methodologies as as they are emerging frequently, and it is always a constant uh, struggle in terms of how do we stay uh, relevant and how do you future proof in this ever changing tech industry. My uh, kind of over the years, what I have learned is. Uh, how do you stay relevant and how do you make sure you adapt to the changes and stay ahead of the industry trends is something which has become becoming more and more important. Uh, it's not just about technical expertise anymore. Uh, what you need are holistic skills and adaptive learning uh, if you are looking at long-term success. And the secret uh, lies in what is the value we are delivering to our end customers. Now, uh, how I have kind of tried to uh, stay relevant, right? Uh, the And I have been thinking about this and I zeroed in on four things that I believe have worked for me uh, really well. Uh, I have been around for 24 years, uh, done multiple uh, things over these years. And one of uh, the top thing which I believe has always helped me is uh, constantly learning, uh, keep upskilling uh, myself regularly. Uh, what I do is I, I do uh, online courses. Uh, whenever I get a chance, I do workshops which are happening uh, in, in my organization. Uh, uh, and kind of go after some certifications if if I have to. Uh, one more thing which I have kind of developed as a hobby and it is uh, it is extremely important, which is uh, constantly keep reading uh, different blogs or publications or books. And books don't need to be just technical in nature, uh, but read books on different topics. Uh, on humanity, on on uh, on how technology uh, is impacting on the society, uh, it it allows it has allowed me to kind of uh, how do I put it right? It brings in multiple different perspectives when we are thinking about how do we uh, build solutions for uh, for our uh, customers. Uh, and at the same time, uh, always stay curious. I mean, I, I have, I'm very, very curious. I'm very, very observant. I, I love to see uh, how kind of people interact with each other, how people interact with systems, uh, how the behavior patterns are shifting, uh, how people are using data that is available to them. It just allows you to kind of constantly stay in touch with what is happening uh, around us uh, and uh, keeps you kind of fresh in terms of how you are looking at solutioning. Another thing which uh, I think has helped me is uh, sharing my knowledge. Uh, one thing I learned uh, over the years was the more I share, the better clarity I gain in my uh, my own understanding of a subject. Because uh, when you share, you get another perspective from people who are listening to what you're saying and they uh, contribute in your knowledge about a particular topic. When I, Whenever I have spoken at conferences and made presentations, it has, it has helped me to kind of crystallize on what am I trying to kind of... Uh, broadcast what are the key learnings what are the key takeaways i want people to have and that has Im helped me improve in my communication bring in simplicity and it has also helped me in terms of building a brand of my own uh beyond the role right so so working constantly on building that thought leadership for myself and sharing that uh, goes a long way uh, and starts kind of uh, helping us uh, to be more relevant because uh, the way people would look at uh, look at you.
another thing which i i think has helped me is i consider myself to be a good problem solver uh, and what i mean by that is i always kind of try and stay focused on how do i solve the problem in a meaningful way uh in the domain that i am uh, working in at any given point in time and the earlier two points right where i'm i'm curious to look at things uh, and i get to kind of learn new things by observation contributes uh, in my ability uh, to solve problems effectively uh and while doing all of this i i tend to also make sure that i am delivering results right and what i mean by that is uh, everything that we are doing should always align towards uh what is the impact and value uh that will be the outcome of my efforts uh it is extremely important that we align to those outcomes because uh, what's the fun uh, uh without being able to kind of have that uh, value delivered